What are the best guns to use in Modern Warfare 3 Zombies? That is what I'm going to be talking about in today's video and I've got 8 different weapons that you should be using in order to dominate that tier 3 zone in Modern Warfare 3 Zombies. As always I like to get straight to the point around here so you can quickly get the info you need and continue grinding. So first of all we have the MCW Assault Rifle. This is one of the lowest recoil weapons in the game and once pack a punched it is insanely good. Because of its low recoil you can really focus on getting those headshots and hitting the sweet spot on a lot of the bosses. So to start things off we're going to be going for the long barrel. This is just to increase the accuracy even more and also increase some of that range. It doesn't really matter range in zombies but it is quite nice to use against bosses at long distances. We then have the hand stop, this is going to increase with accuracy and recoil control, also a bit of mobility, then we have the biggest mag possible because the more bullets the better in zombies. We then have my favourite optic and we also have the rear grip here for increased ADS speed. Next up is the haymaker shotgun, now we all know zombies times shotgun. It's always a good combination, so this is one of the best shotguns you can be using. I've built this specific class to just be as in your face as possible, so you can get nice and close towards the zombies. We have the short barrel, then we have the no stock. This is all going to increase that mobility speed. Rear grip, laser, all for the mobility speed. And then we have the 20 round drum, which once again, everything gets even better once pack a punch. Next up, we have the Sidewinder Battle Rifle. This is a really good option. It does shoot quite slow and it does have quite a bit of recoil, but every bullet is extremely powerful. Because it does have a lot of recoil, we're going to be using this barrel to help increase that recoil control along with the optic as well, just to be nice and accurate. 30 round drum on this one, quite small, but once pack a punched, again, you know, everything gets better. Then we have the optic, like I've mentioned. We have the stock here to increase that mobility speed and a little bit of accuracy as well. And then finally, we have the rear grip attachment, which is going to increase the overall mobility, ADS, sprint fire speed, all of that good stuff because you do want to be quite fast when playing zombies. Next up we have the DG-58 Assault Rifle. This is a burst weapon but once pack a punched it has like a 5 round burst and it just absolutely melts through the zombies. It's one of my favourite options right now. To really really reduce the recoil you want to stick on this muzzle because it really increases the horizontal recoil control which is where this gun has most recoil and once that's on the recoil is basically non-existent. We have the short barrel here to make this weapon nice and quick. The rear grip is going to increase the mobility as well. The biggest mag and the optic to finish it off. And then we have the TYR handgun. This is actually one of the most OP weapons right now in zombies. And I recommend you all giving it a go. Once this thing's pack a punched, it is insane. But there is one secret attachment that you must use. First of all, we have the trigger, which is going to increase the fire rate. And the secret attachment that you need to use to make this weapon OP is the snake shot ammunition type. This basically makes the damage 10 times better so definitely want to stick this one on. Next up we have the barrel which is going to increase the range of this weapon. Very important because it doesn't really have much range. Then we have a laser which is going to increase the mobility and then we have a rear grip which is also going to increase the mobility. Next up is the RGL grenade launcher. This doesn't have any attachments but you've all probably seen everyone use this. This is just an absolute beast when pack a punched against pretty much anything in any tier or any mission this thing just shreds through them all next up we have the crossbow which is once again you've probably seen a lot of people using this there is a certain attachment that makes it 10 times better so make sure to listen up so the first attachment you want is going to be this barrel and then the secret attachment that makes this weapon a lot better is going to be the thermite tip which is the first tip it's going to basically Set your enemies on fire, it's going to do a burning effect, so they're going to take damage over a period of time, which is very good. I like to use an optic on this, then we have the bolt, and then we have the stock as well for mobility. And finally, any melee weapon is actually really, really good. Pack a punch this thing, and you can literally just go around meleeing everyone. Subscribe for more, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.